we naturally have um, an interest in how bridges and culverts are affecting the rivers and again back to our core mission, the river stability um, throughout the state of Vermont. The other data sets are focused on the structural integrity of the structure. Our assessment is getting more at the condition of the river as it relates to the structure. We come out with a geomorphic compatibility rating which describes the different scoring that is possible uh, and it, anything from fully compatible where the structure is fully compatible with the stream processes and, uh, to fully incompatible in the red where the structure is fully incompatible and should be replaced as soon as possible. This gives the structure manager something that they can use to include in their list of considerations when they prioritize structure replacement or maintenance, other maintenance work. We look at aquatic organism passage and we look at the outlet configuration. Is there a free fall from the outlet? Is it a cascade or is the outlet at grade with the stream bed? And that gets at the, the ability of the, of the organism to get up into the structure from the downstream direction. Uh, we look at the height of the outlet drop, we look at the stream substrate within the structure, and we look at whether there are obstructions to the inlet on the upstream side of the structure, because obviously that's going to block, create passage issues for, for critters trying to get through that structure and up the upstream. And, you know, we match those parameters up and it's either full passage, uh, which indicates that any organism at any stage of its life uh, can get through the structure, partial passage where it's passing maybe the stronger adult swimmers or it's completely impassable to all species. All right, so that's, that's a simple look at the um, aquatic organism passing results. And this is how we store and provide access to the data and basically what you see are the individual points on the atlas and again, just symbolized uh, according to, in this case, we're looking at the AOP results. I believe we can also um, look at the geomorphic compatibility results on uh, here as well. And you can hover over a data point, and I think you click on the what's here button, and it brings up some information on the left margin. And I think you can click on the link in the left margin, and it brings up a more detailed table. Um, so you've got more information at table. If you want even more information, you can click on the link where it says SGIA ID is circled. You click on that link and it actually takes you into our, our stream geomorphic assessment data management system. And you get right into there and you can get all the full suite of information that's been collected on that structure. You can get reports on the structure. Uh, you can see I've selected the bridge and culvert summary report there. You can sort, select structures based upon the stream geomorphic assessment ID. Each reach, reach of river that we've assessed has an SGA ID. So if I only want to look at the structures from one particular reach, I can just select that SGA ID if I know it. In this case, I've selected all. And you get a, the stream geomorphic assessment uh, bridge and culvert report. It's just a pre canned report. So if you just want these PDF pre canned reports, you can get them quick and easily that way. Another pre can report that we have is the AOP and geomorphic compatibility report. So you see the red and the gray um, column is presenting the AOP results. And then right next to it, the orange, yellow, and blue column is, is reporting the geomorphic compatibility results. And then a neat one is the next one uh, to the right, which isn't color coded at all, but that's reporting the AOP retrofit potential. And the idea with that is, is it's, it's a way of looking at how likely or how feasible it would be to retrofit that structure so it would pass fish. You can do lots of things to a structure to improve the ability of fish, of fish to pass that structure. So um, that's there as well. So again, a couple pre can reports. And then you can go in if you want, you can export um, tabular format data and select whatever fields you want, select whatever basin. Um, you can filter by uh, different groups, so you can filter by towns or by birth name. And in the left row, you see the check boxes there. Those are just the different, uh, the individual parameters. So you can go through and just select and pick whatever uh, parameters you want to pull out of that data table. And you can download it. You have the option at the top as a DBF, an Excel, or an access table. So then you can pull out the table, and as most of you probably would be interested in pulling it into a GIS. Um, so I think that's a pretty useful feature. 
of the data management system.